Okay, now we got a little underrated. I don't even know if it's underrated yet. We're, we're just going to leave it at. But a little low-key badge this year that nobody really paid much attention to. And that's Teardropper. Read the description real quick. Improves a player's ability to knock down floaters and runners. You you know what it is. You been through it. You heard it. You know what Teardropper is. But why is it not a top badge in 2K20? Why are people sleeping on it? I don't see many people running this badge. Except maybe like Tysino or somebody. Let's. I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna figure out why. I'm gonna figure out why this video. Like, look. P hear me out. Hear me out. Teardropper was a, like one of the best badges maybe in 2K17 through let's say 19. But why isn't it not a good badge now? Is it the paint defense? Is it because the paint defense is overpowered? Intimidator just outclasses Teardropper as a whole. Let. You know what? It might be that. But you know what? I'm going to find out. I, you know, you know what I do? I just put that badge on Hall of Fame. I go on the park, yeah, the stage actually, and we want we hop on the 1v1 court and test it out. So I was testing it out right here. I was getting the hang of it. The, you know, I was getting the flow of everything. I wanted to see like how it worked. When does it activate? And you know, it looks like it activates normally, but the only thing is you're going to have to time your layups properly, more properly, more accurately to really make that badge work. And now doing that with your meter off is kind of hard because there's no clear cut way to decide when to release. You see right there, I got a little hook shot and that counted as a teardropper shot too. So, you know, when centers be doing that hook shot and all that, they have deep phase on, you know, that's basically a teardropper badge. When they do one of them hooks from maybe like the free, the free throw line, you're like, how did that go in? Maybe, hey, that's a good badge for the centers. But we're going to find out if the guards can use it. See, I got a high layup. I got a high driving layup and I got a high, you know, regular dunk and everything. I got all that. But we got to see if this badge really works. Why people don't use it. So you see right here, you know. It, it, it's look already is looking like you can't use it in front of people's face you know in 17 it don't matter if a big man is in the paint if he's in that paint you could go with, with that floater and that thing gonna be green that thing gonna be green but nowadays centers got something called intimidator which boosts their interior defense tenfold you see i made that on that's a three level score but imagine if he had intimidator on silver that's missing i'm missing that even on silver, I'm missing that. You see, right here, that's a good teardropper. Just because I didn't time it right, it didn't go in. Very early release. And, and the animations are not, they're just too random at times. Did I know I was going to get that teardropper animation? No. Did I know I was going to get that one right there? No. The animations are kind of random. Unless you have a designated, a specific layer package to go with, you know, that teardropper. Let's say Floater Specialist or Steph Curry. You could say it's Steph Curry. I know he got a little nice layup package, you know, for the floaters. But for right here, I'm using Long Athlete. I'm not switching my layup package right here. If you want to use this badge, you're going to have to put on one of those layup packages to see how it works, you know? But I don't really see it being a much of a difference. You see, I got that easy dunk right there. We're still testing it out. We still want to see if, it, you know, we can go crazy with it. You know, so if, you know, 2K just nerfs the, you know, the interior defense a little bit, or not say nerf, but improve the logic of it. Do you have to go into that system and fix a couple things? Because the paint defense was obviously the worst part this year. You see, I, I got that one to go because that was a, you know, a better time layup. And I have that badge Hall of Fame plus the grand badge. I should be able to make that. Hey, I should be able to make that. That's a good floater. That's a good floater. But making those consistently is going to making those consistently against comp. Let's just say that it's going to be harder. I can already tell you because they're going to be on everything. Now, I tried that without no meter. And for this game, I had to turn on my meter to, just to make sure that it wasn't just my timing that was awful, messed up. So I threw on the meter and I tried to take all layups on this guy, you see. And he's smaller, so you know, all I got to do is create my room. And then I'm going to go up with the, the floater and see if it goes in. So, you know, I got the long athlete layer package, you know, so let's do this. So right here, I got to make him play up. I got to make him play up because he's playing back. So I'm going to just hit him with a few threes. See what he does. You know, you still got to guard me even though I have my meter on. Don't think I can't shoot. With, I'm not I'm not one of those guys that can just shoot without without the meter. 
you know, if you put the meter on, I can shoot with that too. That's that's my origins. I used to play with the meter all the time, man. Never turned off my meter except this year. So if 2K21 comes out and they go back to the meter thing, I'm gonna be all set. Some people really gonna be messed up. They're not used to the meter no more. So we're gonna be out. We're gonna be all right. So right here, get the ball back. Cool. Let's get yeah, let's get it started. Let, let's start let's start this teardropper thing. So right here, you know that's not a good spot. That's not a good place to do the teardropper. Let's get more space than that because they'll probably make us miss anyway. So obviously we're gonna have to get a lot of space or maneuver my way to the paint in a way I could throw up a teardropper that's gonna be beneficial. You see how he's just playing up right here? Of course, uh, you know I had to spray with another three. Now if he's playing deep in the paint. Then I might go for a teardropper at the free throw line. And you have to do the same thing with centers too because you get they get somewhat of a contest on you, it's gonna be off. You see, I don't even know how I missed that one. That's crazy. 2K, that's that's what I'm talking about. This paint defense. Yeah, it, because I know he does he's like six th three, six, four. He maybe have intimidated on bronze. I don't know, but still that should not his interior defense is not above a 50. I can already tell these guard bills you see you know their interior defense is like a 45 or you know it could be a 50 but a 50 I have an 80 something layup why am I being contested by a 50 interior defense at least make it 75 you have to fix that logic 2k so right here you know I said if he comes up then it's not gonna be a good floater I have to get I have to make a smarter choice so as soon as I went into my first game, I could see why people may not want to use this badge. It's not as overpowered, you know. I'm not a slasher. I don't have a 99 driving layup and all that. But, you know, I have a high enough layup to see why people don't want to use it. Or maybe it could be an underrated badge. Now, it could be a badge you you, you really only put on when you turn legend. You, you know, you get the 10 extra badge upgrades. But even still then, there's still better badges than this teardropper badge. So this is like maybe a last resort kind of badge, if you think about it. You're not really doing teardroppers in this game. Unless you have those layer package like I told you. But even when you switch your layer package, you're just going to have to just throw a floater. Because if you try to go up with a curry a layer package or a floater specialist, it's not going to be it's not gonna be more aggressive. You know, you can't do that hop step like everybody likes. It's going to, you feel me? So long athlete is more like the best layer package you want to go with anyway hey i'm just i'm gonna keep it a buck bro uh, the the rest of the layer package suck <laughs> you can't do that hops you can't do that cheesy hop step with nothing else than long athlete and i'm keeping trail with you so you're gonna pick your poison i'd rather have long athlete and just take off the teardrop badge i'm still gonna get to the rack and i'm just I, i'm gonna keep it a buck bro i know it's cheesy i know the hop step you know it's cheesy but hey that's how 2K is this year. What can you do? See, look, I'm gonna show you another example of what I'm talking about. Just watch when I do the, you know, the teardropper animation. Peeps, when it, it pops up, you see I get that hop step into a layer right there. Easy peasy, you know, regular stuff. But hey, we're talking about the teardropper right here. We're talking about the teardropper. So look, right here, I'm trying to create my room. I mean, it's open. So why not just go with a regular layer? He's already taller than me. So if I do it in front of his face, it's going to miss because he probably has Intimidator. What made Teardropper so good in the last two Ks is that you can do it in people's faces and they couldn't do a thing about it. It used to be actually be a threat. This year, you're not going to see no guards throw up no Teardropper because they know that Intimidator is a thing. It's a thing. If Intimidator was not a thing, I swear, it, that badge would be better than it was. They have to buff it. See, that's the problem with 2K. They have some overpowered badges and then they have trash badges. A real game is supposed to have every badge balanced in what they can do. I hate games that just allow you just have a meta of a certain badges you can use. You have to have good badges all over. You see, there's a, there's a few, there's some shooting badges that are good, but there's some shooting badges that are terrible. Like, Ice and Veins? What is that? Like, what? Ice in veins? That badge name sounds way cooler than what it actually does. It's for free throws in Pro-Am. Free throws. Ice in veins. You know, D-Lo's, you know, signature little thing. Ice in veins. Free throws. It boosts 
free throws. I yo, I don't even have that badge. And I can make 95% of my free throws. Do you think I give up? Do you think I care about a badge like that? Do you think that badge is going to be in 2K2? Why did they even put that badge in there? Another badge. Steady Shooter. Now, now that badge is kind of controversy, but why would I want a badge that makes me shoot better contested and take away my, my open shot percentages? Now, that's just encouraging bullshit to go in, bro. I ain't going to lie. It's bad of 2K. It's bad. Another badge that really doesn't make sense. Flexible release. That's the most bailout badge I have ever heard of in the last century. You got to do better with these badges, 2K. This is not it. It's not. And what you did, the teardropper was is bad. You nerfed the hell out of it. So what shot creators, you know, people that like to get these shot off the dribble, create this shot. They can't use this badge because Intimidator is a thing. Fix the paint defense. That should go in right there. That sh that's a good one. That's a good teardropper. You see how it didn't go in? Good timed and everything. And uh, I think he was like a 75 overall. I know he doesn't have a Intimidator. 2K! Fix that badge. That's exactly why you go against at least somebody a good height, maybe over 6'5". And he gets somewhat of a contest. You're not making that. You see, I made that. That was pretty wide open. Now, in my build right here, what like the a high layup, I could have just drove in and for a dunk. I didn't really have to do that. If you're being honest. And if I have a low layup, like maybe a 75, I'm missing. So it really doesn't matter. Then you, you really can't utilize that. And I know a teardropper is to be utilized against bigger, slower opponents. But, you know, if you really wanted to stop it, you could just stay in the layup with a hand up. And I'm not making it. Unless I go up from the free throw line. But, you know, you could just step out. If you see I made it once, oh, I got to step out on that. You know, I'm going to, you see, I missed that one. It's going to be so easy to miss it. Just have a big man with Hall of Fame Intimidator. Just put a hand up. That's it. Well, anyway, this, this badge really had a good potential to be something good. But 2K just, the 2K's defensive system just really messed it up. So, you might not need this badge, A. And I think it needs it needs really a buff in 2K21. You got to bring Teardropper back, man. This is not fair. So, anyway, I'm not really going to ramble on about the badge too much longer. Y'all already get the gist of it. If you want to use it, you have to be pretty much wide open, you know. And you'll have to have a high lay, layup rating. And that pretty much doesn't make any sense when you think about all the other badges you could use for it. Like Giant Slasher and all the contact finisher. But you know, you do what you want. It's, it, you know, make sure you just have the correct layer package on. And make sure you have this badge on Hall of Fame. Because anything less is going to result in a miss. And you see how much I was missing with the Hall of Fame. So don't expect any different with any lower tier. But anyway, I'm make sure to, make sure y'all make sure to like, comment, subscribe, leave any concerns about the badge you have in the comment section, and I'm gonna answer every single comment. And without further ado, I'm out. Yeah, peace.